All right, gang, had a uh, couple questions come up on the Taylor Boys Outdoors about how we treated. We did the mic counts in an earlier video, so go back and check it out. And at any rate, here's what I do when I find the mic counts high. I've already opened this hive up, and um, this is actually the third tree. Use a syringe, and I take the syringe, and I, I pull up uh 25 to 30 grams of oxalic acid uh this is the third treatment i'll do 25 to 30 grams seven days apart uh i'll put it on the the pad here and obviously i didn't get enough there holding it one one uh one hand here but the bees cannot stand this they'll they'll remove it from the hive and in the process they'll Stroll it all through the hive, which kills the mites. So, 25 to 30 grams, seven days apart, and I stick to that process because this really shuts down your queen. That acts as a, a, a mechanical uh, way of controlling mites. A brood break is also a, a, a mite control measure a lot of people use and implement. So, that brood break with this uh, oxalic acid, not, I'm sorry, Apigard thymol treatment uh, really does a number on it. It doesn't decimate them like you would want, but it, it knocks them back and gets them in control. So uh, at any rate, that's, that's how I go about uh, using it. And also, this is my third treatment. Um, you can see here my dates. I hit them on 7.5. 714 and 724 so basically 10 days apart gives you a 30 25 to 30 day treatment window uh, they tend to shift the uh, brood nest away from it so on my third treatment when I go in I went in and I found eggs so I know they're still queen right uh, sometimes this will burn your queen up not normally it doesn't normally do it, but sometimes if you had a weak queen, this will make them supersede her. So just be aware of that. Um, but if uh, if you can at all, take care of your mites. Get rid of them. Keep a count. And I, I'll do uh, counts after this to verify that this did work. And that's how I do my mite treatments <clears throat> here at the Taylor Boys Outdoors and in my apiaries. So if uh, there's any questions or concerns about how I do it, drop them down in the comments and we'll cover them there. But um, look at the video before this one and you'll see uh, how I did the mite counts and uh, verify that my mites were high above the threshold that we, we, we use. So at any rate, I'm going to close them up. They don't seem to be robbing too bad, but I'm going to get a better dose on there. Y'all have a good day. One thing I did not mention was if uh, you don't have a feeder shim, you can flip simply flip your lid upside down and it leaves the space. It also leaves ventilation, which is important. So flip your lid upside down. If you have a migratory lid like these, I have feeder rims around them, which is basically a half inch space above it, so that'll work too. And if you don't have either either of those, you can take an old brood box or super and just cut you a, uh, a one inch, a half inch strip. Good enough, so appreciate it.